Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a fragrance first impression of Hermetica Amber Bee. This was my Scentbird pick. I actually just received it today and I've been excited to try this fragrance. So if you'd like to know what my thoughts are on this scent, then keep watching. Now I pay for my Scentbird with my own money. I do have a referral code below. If you use that code and you sign up for Scentbird, you get a free month, I get a free month. Like I tell everybody, you can use <laughs> anyone who has a Scentbird subscription has that. I don't have it because I do YouTube as a hobby or I review fragrances. It's just something that they have. It's like a refer a friend program. So if you do not want to use my code, totally fine. Uh, if you want to search for another um, person that you like on the internet and you want to support them, totally okay too. You also don't have to use any code, completely up to you, but I'm just letting you guys know below. But I do pay my own Scentbird subscription with my own money and I've had it for years. So that's my little transparency. Now, Hermetica is a brand that I don't know too much about. I know that they have this kind of really interesting take on fragrance. Fragrances are alcohol free, clean, and they're supposed to have like this interesting moisturizing effect on the skin. I, I, I really don't know too much about Hermetica, sadly, but this is a brand that a lot of people have actually asked me to review and loving amber and honey fragrances, I figure to give it a good go to experience this house for the first time, this was a great fragrance to jump into because these are notes that I really love and a composition that I really appreciate. So I'm going to read you the website, what it says. And the description is, the Eau de Parfum of Amber Bee is an intense and fine perfume, delicately wrapped in myrrh oil. This multifaceted fragrance is illuminated by the bergamot essence and warmed by a sweet amber molecule. Complimentary notes, saffron, apple, black coffee, cedar oil, clary sage, lily of the valley, red fruits, vetiver oil, musk, patchouli oil, leather, oud, sandalwood, moss, and vanilla. It is uh, basically what their little flavor text is after that is Amber Bee is a clean and alcohol free fragrance. Its formula offers the perfect alchemy between perfume and skin with a long lasting effect that is moisturizing base nourishes your skin throughout the day. I I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think that that's a bad thing. I know for some people alcohol and fragrances can be kind of drying and some people don't like to wear them because of that. So I think that's awesome. But I think to like moisturize your skin throughout the entire day, wouldn't you have to like completely drench your body in it? I, I don't know if anybody has experience with this brand and I am being completely ignorant, which it is, I'm very likely being completely ignorant. Please let me know uh, below in the comments how wrong I am, but let's get into the fragrance. So it has oud, sandalwood, moss, vanilla, patchouli, lily of the beige, clary sage, red fruits, vetiver, musk, cedar, black coffee, apple, saffron, as well as bergamot, sweet amber, and honey, I guess. So when you look at the um, the thing you get from Scentbird, it says bergamot essence, amber molecule, and sweet powder wood So moss. let's get this on the skin. So as always, I am giving you guys a first impressions. It takes more than 10 to half an hour, 10 minutes to half an hour to be able to do a proper review. And usually when I review a fragrance, I like to wear it for at least a few weeks. So obviously this is a first impressions. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about the opening and the dry down. That does not mean that I'm gonna be able to give an accurate review because obviously sometimes fragrances completely change after like 10 to 12 hours. So we're gonna do, um, first spritz. Now some fragrances are very aromatic when you spray them, some aren't. This is, I'm getting a sweet kind of powdery, kind of creamy wood and some very, um, I think I'm picking up a bit of clary sage and saffron. It's a little bit spicy, it's very aromatic, but that's all pretty much I'm getting. So I'm gonna let this dry on my skin. I'm saying this is probably more of an aromatic fragrance that has woody and ambery notes to it. I'm gonna give this about half an hour to dry down on my skin, and then I will come back and let you guys know what I think. If I can get this, there we go. Hi, welcome back. It's well, honestly, it's been like a second for you. It's been like 30 minutes for me, and I have thoughts on this. So first thing, um, it's been on my skin. It's been aromatic. It hasn't. I haven't been like nose blind to it. Some fragrances, first impressions, or sometimes when they dry down, if they're not very strong, sometimes I have to smell them, like actually see if I can smell them, because sometimes my nose just does its own thing. It's big enough. It's got its, it's like sentient. Just, just ignore it. 
but <laughs> sorry. But this fragrance I find to be interesting. So first, price range. This fragrance for 100 ml, you're looking at spending about $195 USD for 50 ml, 135. The price point of this is along the lines of niche houses like I would say Atelier Cologne, certain fragrance houses from zoologists, or not fragrance houses, certain fragrances from zoologists. So I would say like really great quality uh, niche houses that aren't overly expensive but are still pricey. So I mean $135 to $200 for bottle perfume is expensive but it's not like Raja or Clive Christian or like Zerjoff expensive. Now I will say that this smells really beautiful and I like its sweetness but it's lacking in some regards and again this is me coming at you after only smelling it for 30 minutes. So this is a fragrance that I would purchase and enjoy. And smelling it on my hand, it smells really nice actually. It smells very pretty, it smells very um, honeyed, sweet. There's a little bit of resin in there. The kind of powerful opening with that clary sage is gone. It kind of settled down into something very, very sweet. The saffron is basically gone. <laughs> It's pretty much like sweetened with fruits and honey and amber. Now, something you guys might not know about me, I don't know if I mentioned it before in videos, is I actually like to brew at home. And one thing I love to make is mead, honey wine. I make it like once or twice a year. I don't make it too much. I'm not super professional with it, but I do have my mead fermenting. I actually need to rack it very soon. So I do have an appreciation and a love for kind of honeyed, fermented, slightly wine, boozy fragrances. And this smells like how I would want a perfumed honey wine to smell. It is slightly boozy. Now there are woods in here and there's oud and sandalwood and it's supposed to be like a powdery, creamy wood. And I get it, but it's not completely there. I will say though that being an amber, honey, and vanilla fragrance, because there is vanilla in here, it doesn't smell like your stereotypical strong like vanilla bourbon amber fragrance and I really like that. I like the fact that this smells different than what you would usually get with along the same lines of very predominant distinctive notes. So it does smell really nice. The fruits play a lot more in this than the amber and the honey. And that makes it exceptionally sweet. So if you do not like sweet fragrances, at least from the first 30 to 45 minutes, I don't know if this fragrance will be for you. I think it'll be a little too sweet, a little too fruity. But the fruitiness and the sweetness isn't pulling it as more of a feminine dominant fragrance. And what I mean by that is a lot of times when you look at fragrances that are marketed to women, they're floral, they're sweet, they're fruity. And there's a very distinctive, like that's what women's fragrances smell like, just kind of like tobacco and leather and aromatic and spicy woody fragrances are men's fragrances. Even though this has a lot of qualities to something that you would think just hearing me say fruits and sweet and flowers, you'd think that smells like a women's fragrance. It does. It definitely smells like a shared fragrance, which I think is really nice. Quality wise for how this smells, this is a very wearable scent. This is a very easy scent. This is a very sweet scent. If you like fragrances like Mon Precious Nectar from Your Lawn, I think you'd appreciate this fragrance. It's not identical, it's not identical, but if you like that kind of very sweet, nectarish, very kind of floral fruity, but not women's fragrance, I think you're going to enjoy this fragrance. It does have a bit of warmth to it, but it's not, again, like syrupy or gooey. It's a very light dried fruit kind of sweet to it, and I find that to be really pleasant. It's a very attractive fragrance, and honey is something that I think, if you guys know me, I love. I love honey fragrances, and I think this is a very wearable scent. So do I think this is a successful fragrance in regards to composition? I would say for how it's supposed to be, like this kind of ambery, honey, uh, fruity fragrance, yes. <laughs> I don't know much about the brand. I don't know if this is super moisturizing. 
um, but my, my hand looks shiny where I sprayed it and that usually doesn't happen. So we'll see how the back of my wrist feels. But for the most part, I don't think this is a bad fragrance. I think $195 for this isn't overpriced currently based on what I'm smelling. I think it's pretty. I think it's fruity. I think it's very, very sweet. You get a bit of resinous roundness. You get some soft woodiness. You get some nice, light, soft, beautiful, creamy vanilla. And there is nice touches of fruits and aromatics in here. This doesn't have an insane amount of layers or complexity or depth. So in the opening, there's a lot going for it and that's normally what happens, which is why I like to give it a good solid, at least 20 to 30 minutes to dry down. Sometimes fragrances need longer to really see how all the notes settle on my skin with my body chemistry. And I will say that this fragrance is very pleasant. Is this a fragrance I would purchase? Yes, actually. I think this is a great wearable fragrance, especially if you like honey, but you're tired of honey. Now, I'm not tired of that note. I actually really love it when fragrances are almost like they smell sticky. But some people are overpowered by that honey. I will say this smells not identical, but how this kind of smells on the skin, its lightness and its airiness reminds me of one of my favorite fragrances that was discontinued from La Citane and it was Honey Gentle Water. That is one of like my holy grail fragrances. You can't get it anymore. I had a bottle of it. I had like probably like an ounce of it left, not an ounce of it, like half of an ounce of it left. And it like developed this weird cloud of like protein or something. Oh, I have thrown away. I was devastated. But I will say this is a beautiful scent. So do I like it? Yes. Is it full bottle worthy, full price? Would I pay that for it? Yes. Will I go out of my way to purchase a bottle of it? Sometimes after I review a fragrance, I might just stop filming and before I edit and go buy it. No, I don't think that this is a fragrance that I would run out to purchase. But if I had the opportunity to purchase this fragrance or if I had a little extra money lying around, I definitely think this is something I would purchase and enjoy. And I think this is a great introductory to the house. Not every fragrance has to be complex or have depth or have layers. Sometimes there's just a beauty in something simple and minimalistic and just easy to wear. And this is that. Not every fragrance has to be like you're solving <laughs> like crazy math in order to like smell like nice. Sometimes there's beauty in just smelling good. And I think that this is where this particular fragrance smells. If you like sweet fragrances, if you like fruity fragrances, if you like fragrances have a little bit of warmth, are attractive, this is gorgeous. I will say that this sits on the skin uh, very light. It does have a bit of an aromatic atmosphere, but I don't know too much about projection, but I don't know if this is the type of fragrance that would last long on the skin or would have the type of projection people would want when they're paying this amount of money for a bottle of perfume. But for me, I'm okay with that. So. At the end of the day, I think this is a great scent. I'm really glad I tried it. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to enjoy it. And as somebody who loves honey, I think this is gonna be a nice wear. Is it the best honey I've ever smelled? No. But is it a wearable, beautiful, slightly different honey than I normally smell when people are creating honey fragrances? Yes, I think this is really nice. So that is my review of Amber B from Hermetica Parfums, or not my review, my first impressions. If you guys have had experience with this particular scent or any other fragrances from this house, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, positive or negative, I'd love to know what you guys think. If you have any experience with moisturizing body perfumes, <laughs> I'd love to know what you guys think. I personally, it feels a little gimmicky, but it could be something that because I don't deal with it, maybe they're filling a niche for something that people really need. So maybe I think it's gimmicky, but maybe for somebody else, it's a lifesaver. I'd love to know what you guys think of that too. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.